All right, all right, all right, Virgo. What is the word, Joe? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of March 2021. Baby, we're here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies for liking, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping through and showing me some love. If you would like to book a personal private reading or if these videos resonate and you want to send some love and support to the page and help us grow over here, go ahead and click the description box of this video. Um, it gives a pricing list, various ways to support and connect with me for personal private readings the best way to connect with me for a personal private reading is to send me a message on instagram messenger if you don't have instagram just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com all right so again thank you guys for all the love and support and you know that we always give praise thank and acknowledgement to father god the creator of the universe whatever it is that you want to call him so if you want by bowing your heads with me and let's just say a quick prayer so father god thank you thank you so much for bringing us here with the beautiful beautiful sign of virgo uh i thank you so much for just like all of the enlightenment and just the growth that you have just been showering over our lives it seems like we're just waking up out of our slumber into the fresh day the sun kissing our skin the birds chirping outside it's just you know looking at the evergreen just you know blossoming outside of our window father god and i don't know it's something about that evergreen i i had an evergreen tree that um was right outside my window at my house and i love that tree all year that tree stays green it's evergreen and one thing about me i want my pockets to stay evergreen father god i want my health and my life and just everything surrounding me to be evergreen because you know green is a is a color of luck it's a color of abundance it's a color of good health um you know growth you know all of that good stuff green and gold is two beautiful colors that i love and lord knows you know y'all know it's leprechaun season coming around so hopefully we trip up over a pot of gold so father god i don't know maybe virgo is feeling lucky around uh here because i in all of the prayers i ain't said nothing like this so this must just be intended for virgo virgo must just be feeling very lucky so you know just give us the word father god give us the guidance that we need to receive today father god in the name of jesus amen amen and amen give us the guidance for virgo all right virgo let's see what's going on over here having me feeling like a lucky charm give me guidance we got the tea leaf cards today so we're gonna take three on each side let's see what we got for Bur Burgo okay you got the bat which is not good and then you got the handshake so y'all watch who y'all shake your hands with you got the bat it says take care enemies are working against you lord have mercy really Virgo really we starting off like that Good gracious, Lord, in the name of Jesus. All right, then you got a handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Hmm. So new people are coming into your lives, and it looks like old ones are wishing negative energy against you now. Come on now. We ain't got time for that. Then you got the unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. All right, now. Now, we were just talking about the old and the new. You got new people coming into your life that you shake your hands with. All right. Pay attention to the new people coming into your life. Pay attention to the old people coming into your life. Use your intuition. Now it's saying here you're about to make you're about to make the acquaintance of someone that can change your life in a very prominent way. In a very prominent and prosperous way. And it's also someone that don't wish you no well. So hmm. use that intuition to make beneficial changes in your life. Virgo. I like that. Now, come on. Let's figure out what else is going on over here. Give me three. Over here. What's that? We got the diamond. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift. Like I just said, someone is going to be coming into your life. Someone you're going to be shaking hands with is going to change your life. All right. Precious diamonds here. What's going on, Virgo? Give me more guidance for Virgo. And then the four leaf clover. Didn't I say something? Now I was now. This is too much. This is too much. This is too much. 
this is too much for me. This is too much. Because I was literally just talking about the four leaf clover. And I was just talking about this. Wow. Great. Good fortune. Four leaf clover and a diamond. Lord Jesus. Come on now. It's something big about to happen to y'all, Virgo. I'm so serious. Okay, y'all got a lot that just fell out. I wasn't even trying to do all of that. Now, what is going on? Do we need to take all of that? I feel like we do. It's okay. We got the grape. Time to get out and have some fun. So you got the four leaf clover, the diamond, and the grape. A precious gift, great good fortune coming into your life, and it's time to get out and have some fun. You got the teardrops, great personal sorrows, and the young man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. So there's a younger man here going through some level of sorrows here. This might have something to do with this bat here. Take care. Enemies are working against you. I don't know. Mm-hmm. With this man here that's going through this great personal sorrow. Hmm. There's someone. Someone here that's shaking hands with new prominent people that is about to change their life for the rest of their life. There's a lot of luck. There's a lot of prosperity. There's a lot of green and gold around. Okay? At this moment. And it looks like the particular growth of someone. And someone's ability, you know, to eat, drink, experience, and delight in the abundance of prosperity. It seems like it's bothering someone. It seems like someone feels left out. Um, I'm being guided to go ahead to the Norman deck first. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm going to do one over there, one over there. Then I'm going to go down and do it with the numerology. Give me guidance here. So we got, what is this, the woman? Hmm. This is the woman card here. But it has a male on it. Let me make sure I'm not tripping. This is the this is the this is the woman's card. I know I'm not tripping. No, this is the gentleman's card. 29 is the lady. Okay, I was about to say. I was about to say because they do okay anyway. They have the general reverse on here as well. So this is the gentleman's card. The gentleman's card. Give me guidance about this gentleman, please. I feel like this gentleman is the one that you're going to be shaking hands with. Give me guidance. Clarify the gentleman, please. That's too much. Alright, whatever. Alright, so you got the dog. You got the key. And you got the stork. So this gentleman is going to be very tall and skinny. Very tall and skinny. Like a stork. Like literally the stork card is like an individual that's stalky. Um, I don't know why I want to say a pointed nose. Just like a very straight perfect looking nose. Like one of those noses that you would see on a Barbie doll or something, they just have like one of those like little perfect manufactured nose. I don't know. It's not like, I don't know why I feel like this man look like a Ken doll or something. Just tall, stocky. I want to say light complected or something. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Which is like a perfect pointed nose the key represents like opportunity it represents choices it represents access you know and then you got the dog here so this is like some type of companion someone's expressing some type of loyalty it looks like you have access to this person um this stork here to me the stork brings it's like the stork bears gifts to me because i always think of the stork that was coming on the movie dumbo that was carrying the babies and stuff like that you know so i just it's something about this person i feel like is like 
bringing presents. It's just bringing some type of gifts or something. Gifting you with something. Definitely an opportunity and you have a chance and a choice to accept this person's loyalty, to accept this person's companionship. Um, and I want to say with this Queen of Hearts here, um, this stork here is looking for like a place. I want to say like a home. Like the Queen of Hearts is someone that gives emotional security, does a lot of cooking. There's a lot of children, a lot of childbearing, a lot of love, a lot of warmth, a lot of generosity, a lot of cre creative type of things like that here. A lot of creative things. And as you see, the stork lives among the water. So it's like a water sign. So this could be like a water sign woman or something like that. The eight of diamonds represents like to curtail spending, like caution, paying attention to your money. Do you understand what I'm saying? It means paying attention to your money, your finances. It means someone with glasses. You know what I'm saying? Like someone um, doing, it's like tax, like taxes and things like that. Um, someone taking a fine look at something before they process paperwork. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, uh, that's what the Eight of Diamonds means. It's like someone... I don't know, like, you can meet this person. Like, I don't know if this person processes taxes or something like that. Or it just happens around the tax time. Because the Eight of Diamonds represents, it, it has something to do with people processing and understanding their money and making sure that they're balancing their money. That's what the Eight of, Di the Eight of Diamonds means to me. So let's see. The Eight of Diamonds means caution, careful planning, balancing the books, financial restrictions, the need to curtail spending, the ups and downs of money, cycling money, tax planning, number counting, a person wear glasses, watchfulness, the eyes, like I told you, like number crunching, like someone paying attention to their finances. The Eight, this right here is the Ten of Hearts, so... This means loyalty, like someone's looking for, like, family, like, real love, like, it's like wedding, like, everything stops here, like, I found the one that I want to keep for the rest of my life, so the Ten of Hearts represents victory, emotional fulfillment, happiness, enjoyment, amusement, emotional commitment, marriage, compatibility, heat, warm weather, the summertime, ooh, child and I told you that dog represents loyalty companionship mm. hmm alright so let's go over here give me guidance over here looks like you guys are going to have access to someone that's going to come into your life that's going to offer you commitment you got a crossroads here You got the crossroads here. It looks like, what is that, the queen of diamonds here? All right. Ooh, then you got the tree. Mmm, growth. Growth. The tree represents, like, to me, um, and especially because it's just one tree, it represents, like, seclusion. Like, you're secluded to yourself. Because you're growing. Um, the seven of hearts represents something familiar. The number five represents change. So to me, you had to grow within yourself. You had to change by yourself and on your own and dedicate your time to yourself. Trees represent your health. You know? It represents like... Your tree represents um, your roots, like stability to me. You know what I'm saying? It represents being grounded to me. You know? So, you guys had to change and go through your own trials and tribulations and strengthen yourself in order to kind of get to that seven of hearts. That seven of hearts is like you attracting something on your level. It's like... You, it's like 
you had to I want to say you have a choice here or you had the opportunity to remove yourself from here and go over here to give it some time to grow so that you can have a second chance in love and life. This uh, seven of hearts represents second chances to me. Represents something familiar, something just like you, something that's on your playing field. Something that's mutual, you know, something that's coming back around again. You know, so you guys have a choice here. It's like you have you have an option and you have an opportunity here. You definitely have an option and you have an opportunity here. And it looks like you get a chance to do something again. You get a chance to do something again now that you done separated yourself and you allowed time to grow. Then you got the cross. So the cross represents faith represent faith as well could represent spirituality it's like you could have prayed for growth you could have prayed for healing like um the tree represents like your health like healing you know what i'm saying like healing old wounds uh paying attention to like your true morals that's kind of what i'm getting it's like you guys are at a crossroads because you're finally at a you're finally at a point in your life where you're giving yourself the you're giving yourself the opportunity to grow so that you can, you know, be presented with a second chance that you've been praying for. And it's like you're relying on faith here. You're relying on faith. I don't even think that you even realize that this opportunity is coming into your life because again it says a meeting with a stranger could be very important. You see the world in the back. The world represents new chapters, new cycles in your life, a new opportunity. You had a crossroads. You have to make a choice. You know, are you prepared for this? This is what you've been praying for the second chance all along. And what is this? The six of clubs represents like, um, like a completion, you know, like you seeing like a success and reward and kind of like. The benefit of your hard work. It's like a transfer of businesses. Like um, I sold my business to this company. And now I'm able to take those resources invested in this. And I'm doing great right now. You know. So like the six of clubs. Let me explain that to you real quick. And then we'll move on. The six of clubs traditionally a card of movement. Of progress. Of completion in business and social matters. An opportunity to reserve problems taking responsibility for a problem or a situation and doing whatever is necessary to ensure success communion sharing one's thoughts and ideas negotiation banter talk or other forms of communication including hand gestures body language the media or written word good counsel trusted advice knowledge reading studying and learning so you know you could have been getting good spiritual advice here could have helped you with your growth here. I like that. I like that. Let's figure out what's going on here with this young man and his teardrop. Give me guidance here for Virgo, teardrops, and the younger man. You got the love card. And what's behind this here? You got the love card and you got spiritual career. Oh, is that? Yes, love and spiritual career. Hmm. What is the fuck is the crying for? What is wrong with this dude? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And then, and then you got the abundance card here. So, ah. Uh, I'm not necessarily getting what the hell is it is going on with old buddy. I'm not getting what's going on with old buddy over here. So, yeah, and I had to put this over. And then you got the 88. Got 22 and 88. So, like, with that 88 is basically telling me, like, what goes up go comes down. Like, um, 
you've definitely put a lot of good energy into what is coming to you like this good this good luck and all this stuff it's not coming to you by luck it's coming to you by faith it's coming to you by faith you prayed this into your life you know what i'm saying like i definitely believe in good luck but i definitely believe it's all based off of someone's faith and someone's faith you know so this abundance that's coming to you you prayed it here and i definitely see love is coming into your life in a spiritual career, I don't know, some of you guys may take it and go start. Maybe you transferred your career and you went from one phase into another. Like now you're talking more about your spirituality and your growth and how you're allowing second chances and, 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 and beautiful things in life to come to you. Let's get some more guidance here. I still want to find out what's going on with this young man. Why is this young man crying? What's going on? Because I just don't understand. You got the six of swords. Okay. All right. So the reason why this person is crying is because it's like having to move on. Um, it's like someone going away. And does this look like a man with his kids? This surely does look like a man with his child having to move on so I don't know it's like I don't know if this person feels like they're alone and having to um, I feel like this person feels like um, Maybe a relationship is not what they should be focused on no more. They need to move on for that and be more focused on their relationship with their children. Because I'm not, I'm not getting anything else. It's just someone focused on moving ahead and being a father and focused on their children. And not really worried about the relationship that they have. It's like they really have to like put it in their mind that they have to move on from that and focus on their child and their child alone. Um I don't know if it's that this the woman, this Queen of Hearts here, she's meeting some other man here. I don't know, but it's like some this younger man is having to move on. And then what is this? The three of yeah, the three of pentacles in the reverse. This came out. So it's like it's basically saying that something wasn't work or someone wasn't really willing to work. Or even with counsel and with help, it still just wasn't able to be put back together for some reason. So like this person may be hurting because of that. And that's the you know what I'm saying? So it's like no matter no matter what I do, it's like this person doesn't want to work with me. Doesn't want to work with me or for me. So, it's like I got to do it on my own. I got to take care of things on my own. Give me guidance about the handshake. This this gentleman, the stork, the dog, the abundance, the key, the unicorn, the bat. Give me guidance on that, please. I feel like I need to use a new deck. Okay, you got the King of Swords. And is this the the Knight? The King of Swords and the Knight. The King of Swords in reverse in the Knight. So it's the it's the ending phase. This is okay, so this deck that I'm using, it has extra cards. So this is the knight. So it looks like um if there was an issue with an individual that they just felt like um wasn't trustworthy wasn't reliable wasn't dependable like this is a person that said that they would do something or that they would be there or it's like empty promises like false hope like you like you can't believe what this person says e even even though it seems like they might say something with good intentions it's like they're st it's still going to fall through because they never meet Whatever they say come out their mouth. Whatever they says, it never gets meet with good energy or it never gets met with, you know, fulfillment. It's like someone's just like all talk, no backup, you know. Um, 
this person in the reverse to me i always take the king of swords in the reverse someone that's like a punk like a whole bunch of talk no bite like this person is not a fighter this person is not a leader this is not someone like i just feel like it's a weak individual for some reason um you couldn't look up to this person to protect you you know like they may talk a good game but they they would run you know like they truly would run like they're more scared of everything than anything. Um, just not a protector. I don't. I don't know why I'm getting like not a protector. For whatever reason, whoever this is feels like the male energy, the one that that is having to leave here. This one is just not a protector. This one here, like the the stalk and. The stork, I'm sorry, the stork, I don't know why I keep saying the stork. The stork with the gentleman here, the key, and like this person is loyal. This person is committed. This person truly wants, like this person is like a dog is what, a fierce protector of what, their yard and their family and of their house. So this is a whole totally horse of a different color. So this person over here is something that this man right here is not very tall stocky like you know like you know and I really do feel like with this queen of hearts this woman truly loves and wants a protector um really really wants a champion I feel that uh, it may hurt this young man here I don't know if they have a family with this woman or had a relation because clearly you see the child here so I feel like it's like I don't know it's like whenever this person comes to visit they're just coming to visit to pick up their child and go on about their way it's like it's nothing there anymore that's kind of what I'm getting um I do feel like it's an ending it's the night you know it's time to put something to rest you know and um you know, like how something can hurt you real bad. And it's like your mom used to say, just go to sleep. Like, you'll feel better in the morning. Like, you'll feel better in the morning. You know, I know it may hurt that regardless of what you may have tried. Like, you try to put this shit back together. But it's certain things that you need to work on as a man, as a leader, as a king. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoever this is, is not a true king of swords. You know what I'm saying? It's not a true king of swords. A true king of swords is someone that is a protector, number one. They are about law and about justice. Can part wisdom, you know? It's a lot of things. And this person has yet to develop those skills yet. It's no shade, though. It's no shade. But it's just, you're just not ready. You're just not ready. And that's just, that's just bottom line. That's just bottom line. So let's just wrap this up real quick. Um, let's wrap this up. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let me get into. Let me get into the love a little bit. Give me a few love cards and then we're gonna wrap this up for Virgo because I feel like I've been talking a lot. I feel like I've been talking for a long time. All right, give me guidance for Virgo, please and love. What's going on here? Yes, yeah, settling. Um. This person that's on this crossroads, that is separated themselves, that is healed, that is giving itself a, a, a second chance and stuff, they're, they're tired of settling. It's like they're grown, like they ain't, they, they're not a child anymore. You're tired of child's play. I'm not settling no more. That's why I came out like this. To me, that's upside down. You know? It's settling. They're not doing that no more. And it's and it's definitely like not for a child. Like, you know, like ch children are resilient. They will be okay. You know, if if especially if it has anything to do with a relationship. It's like I'm not gonna let a child keep me listen, following the signs. Like they <laughs> not settling had to follow the signs and i told you like the crossroads it's like it's got to be something better than this like it's like someone is not satisfied like they know 
they know their purpose and their destiny is for something else. And it's not going to help them to settle. They had to go and seclude themselves and work on themselves and give them a second chance to love again. Like this just wasn't it. It's not nothing personal. It just wasn't it. Give me guidance. Give me guidance and love for Virgo, please. Yeah, there's no communication anymore. Yeah, there's no communication. You need to release this. No communication. You need to release it. Like, the person that was in this situation that has moved on, that is, you know, unknowingly about to shake hands with somebody, like, they were settling, and they knew it, and they had to do what they had to do. They seen the signs that things were not going to work out. That's why they're not talking. They're trying to release. That's why they're secluding yourself. That's why they're secluding yourself. They need something that's on their level. So, last words of guidance. Give me some last words of hope and wisdom to impart. All my beautiful Virgos. It looks like one of y'all is extremely lucky. Damn. That's a lot. That's too much. I will take those two. Give me one more. For my Virgo. Damn, you got the ring. I'm trying to tell y'all. Virgo, like, is about to get married. Somebody, I don't know if this is the Virgo, um, that is about to shake hands with someone that's about to change their life. Or if this is someone that was dealing with the Virgo that just recently left the Virgo. Whoever you are, baby, you got the Queen of Hearts again with the damn ring. So someone is most definitely getting married. Y'all about to meet someone that is a meeting of a lifetime. Something that is going to change your life and is going to change your opportunities. Going to change your name. Okay? The ring went in the right of the person is an unerring indication of a rich and happy life and marriage. But if lying to the left, it means a disappointment in love. Well, I'm not doing the full spread of this, so whatever. Then you got the Ten of Clubs and the, and the, and the Tower. The Tower represents protection. But this one says the Tower, if surrounded by clouds, denotes sickness. And if a join, and if a joining means death whatever i don't see no damn clouds i definitely don't i see the fire though so let me read this here with the symbols and then i'll read it with the cartomancy so number one the symbols you got the fire here it says the flame the flame on earth individual uh, indicates good fortune and neutralizes the evil of any um, near lying cards that are unlucky and increases the value of one's luck. So the fire, it just erased and eradicated any type of negative energy. Because you know in the beginning it was talking about their back. And you see they got a little boy crying here. Take care because they're enemies that are working against you. They say, you can't, you can't hurt me. You can't touch me. And that's on period. That's on period. Regardless if it's hurting someone and they got to realize and they got to toughen up and they got to have tough skin that someone else has moved on and they're getting married now. Listen, this looks like a church home. This looks like a wedding chapel, doesn't it? it looks like a wedding chapel. The Ten of Clubs represents like absolute like completion and success in business and career. It means like all of the hard work paid off. You could finally get that diamond. Let me tell you what the Ten of um, Clubs means. The Ten of Clubs means um, ambition, achievement, success in business, and social prominence. I told you, the card of business and career it represents a it can represent a specific business or can denote the idea of business or commerce. Or in general sense, it's also a card of movement and travel. It can refer to a journey, more specifically a business trip. 
business move such as a major transaction or business gamble or actual change in business ownership or location it could refer to fluid funds uh, when this card denotes a trip is usually over water and could also represent a bottle uh, a body of water or anything in all forms uh, such as water um, water pipes, a swimming pool, a bathtub, a washing machine, or even a kitchen sink. So again, there goes the water. And then there goes the queen of uh, uh, hearts again. A woman, that's a water sign with the ring. And again, like I told you, this woman had to have a choice to give this person access or not. This dog, right? Because you know when you see a dog, you think of it in a negative sense. But dogs is very, very loyal. And you see this one is coming with the Ten of Hearts. So this one is looking for a little bit more than loyalty. This one is looking for forever. You know? True commitment. If you give them access. Then you got the Ten of Clubs. Everything that you've been working for paid off. You got the ring. And the Seven of Diamonds. That's like winning the lottery. That's that big ticket. Remember we said the four? The Lucky Clovers? Let me read you. Let me read you what the seven of diamonds means. So and again, if y'all ain't, if I don't know what the lottery's doing right now, but y'all need to go play the lottery. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Seven of diamonds, financial achievement, reward, recognition, earned success, steady improvements, efforts rewarded, lucky money, win, a pay raise, improved prospects, a nest egg, financial investment, stock bonds, e trading. This is the money card. So you mean to tell me marriage, protection, and success? Mm. I don't know about y'all, Virgo, but um, whoever this young man is, I wouldn't worry about. Like, I would not worry. Like, this person, as long as they're taking care of their kids, this person will be okay. Whoever it is that's around this Virgo, or if this is the Virgo itself, that this, uh, all this pink, like all of this spiritual career, then you got the, all of this. If this is you, you about to meet someone that's about to change your life. Don't think twice. Alright? This video has been long enough. Y'all hit the like button. Peace.